Good morning. I uploaded, uh, well, I didn't upload, but I made a video last night, and when I went to post it, I deleted it by mistake. I was so mad because it was a good video for y'all to watch, but, um, it is what it is. It deleted. So, whatever. Anyways... As y'all know, I hate Wednesdays, right? I hate coming to work on a Wednesday because I always I always know inside of my head that it's going to be some BS. Like, it's always some BS. You feel what I'm saying? And look and behold, it was some BS last night. Now, y'all know how y'all have employees, but... They're like sometimey employees, like, and what I mean by like sometimey, like, sometimes they show up to work on time. No, let me tell you that. When they first get hired, they come to work on time. Okay, that's about for the first three days. I give it the first two days they get they come to work on time, right? Now the rest of the days that they're going to be at work. They don't come to work on time. So it's one this 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 particular employee. She knows what time she's supposed to be to work. Every single night it's the same thing. I'm calling her. Where are you? Oh, I'm on my way there. No, you're not on your way there. Like, and I told her last night, I said, listen, what you think this is? I said, I don't have time. And like I don't have time to sit up here and be calling your phone. I don't have time to be sitting up here calling your phone. That's not it's not my job to call my call your phone. I do not get paid. First of all, let me tell you this. I do not get paid to call your phone. Okay? I do not get paid to make sure you at work. It's what I don't do. So I would not go the extra mile to call your phone. Why am I calling your phone every single night? And the reason why I do that. You know what I mean? It's because that person is on the overnight manager shift. You know what I mean? And so the overnight manager shift only have like two or three people on their shift each night, right? So if two of those people don't show up, guess what that overnight manager got to work with? One person. Is that fair? That's not fair. That's not fair. That's not fair. That's not fair. So I'm going to definitely write her up today because she got me bent for real. Because last night I had to explain to her on the phone. I was like, listen, baby, I don't get paid to blow up your phone and call your phone. And then you want to talk. And then when you call her phone, she'd be like, oh, Miss Samika, I'm on my way there. You not on your way there. She'll tell you that she on your that she on her way here. And then she won't get there. Like she's scheduled to be there at 10. She won't get there till 11 o'clock. And I'll be looking like, how you say you was on your way here? You don't get here till 11 o'clock. What's going on? Like, what's wrong with you? I don't know. And then, and then this other boy, like, I'm blowing up his phone. I had to let him know last night. I said, listen, why am I blowing up your phone? I said, I'm blowing up your phone to be at work. I said, you supposed to be here at 10 o'clock. Oh, my phone's on vibrate. No. I said, first of all, for one, I said, we're going to get one thing out of the way. First of all, I'm pregnant, okay? My fingers hurt calling your phone, Period. If I got to call your phone more than one time, I got a whole attitude, period. I got a whole attitude. You're not going to come in here. First of all, he want to show up at 1040 last night. You're not going to come in here and say that, oh, my phone was on. Your phone wasn't on vibrate from 10 to 10 o'clock to 1040. Okay? Like, that's BS to me. You feel what I'm saying? And at the end of the day, like I said, 
I'm pregnant. I don't have time to be blowing up nobody's phone, calling nobody's phone, or caring about nobody else, or worrying about why you ain't at work, stressing me out. You feel what I'm saying? Because I got now I got a whole attitude. Then you want to look at me stupid when I'm snapping on you when you walking in late. Don't look at me stupid. These employees just be... Some of the time I just be like, who's up? Because they just be doing the most, for real. Like, they really do be doing the most. Like, I be like, what is wrong with you? Like, what's wrong with you? Now, I don't be understanding, like, what, what's going on? Like, what is the problem? Then they look at me like I'm stupid when I'm, when I'm talking to them. Like, they don't see the whole ghost. Like, don't try me. Don't try because I will, listen, you will come off of the schedule and you won't have a job, okay? So, don't try me. All that, you know, employee, y'all want to do whatever y'all want to do, want to come in whenever y'all want to come in? No. And then everybody's always want to talk about, oh, they don't feel good. Out of everybody in this store, out of all the employees in this store, the only person that should not feel good is Tamika. Tamika is the one that's pregnant. I'm the one that don't feel good. I'm the one with my back hurting every single day. These employees, they always want to complain about or they want to go home early. They don't feel good. Girl, child, please, boo. Girl, bye. You're perfectly fine. Because if I'm here at work, you okay. I'm here at work with my back hurting. I'm here at work with my stomach hurting. I'm here at work with my side hurting. I'm here at work. My breasts hurt every second of the day. Okay? My uterus cramps every second of the day. And guess where I'm at? At McDonald's working. So they, you want to come up with these excuses why you can't do this, why you can't. Girl, try please, boo. Bye. 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 I ain't got time for all that. I got time for all that. I ain't with all these excuses and stuff like that. Like, save the excuses. I don't have time for, for what? For what? For what? I'm out of breath now that I'm telling y'all about this. I need to go in the house. I just came back and dropped my kids off to school. I was going to stop by Starbucks, but I ain't feel like waiting inside of their line. But it is what it is. Whatever. But I'm gonna go in the house and relax before I go to work. I had to be to work at 10 o'clock, so go in the house and relax before I go to work. Because I am completely out of breath right now because last night those two particular employees just really like pissed me off and like just got me on a whole nother level. Because I hate when an employee give a dumb answer. Don't you hate when somebody give you a dumb answer? Like you be expecting some smart stuff to come out their mouth, like. Some like at least give me some stuff. You feel what I'm saying? Well, I'ma know it's a lie, but it's gonna sound like it's truthful at first. You feel what I'm saying? But at the end of the day, I'ma know it's a lie. You know what I mean? But you don't be expecting people to give you no dumb response. Like whatever. Y'all enjoy the rest of y'all day. I'ma enjoy the rest of my day. Try to enjoy the rest of my day. Make sure I don't let nobody get on my nerves. Um, I'm completely out of breath right now. If any of y'all can hear it, I'm out of breath. Um, I'm sleepy. Excuse me. I'm so sleepy, but relax before I go to work. So y'all enjoy the rest of y'all day. Be blessed. Stay safe. If you woke up this morning, thank God that you woke up. Because every day is not promised. Always remember. But y'all have a blessed day. Enjoy the rest of your day. I'm going to go inside of the house. Because I am like completely, completely out of breath right now. Seriously. It's like so crazy. I'm trying to figure out why is this lady standing outside with shades on. I guess, whatever. 
Anyways, y'all enjoy the rest of y'all day, all right?